thing in the world. <laughs> oh, okay. Please introduce yourself. I'm William March. Um, I live here in Renfrew and I'm an amateur artist and I'm a recovering addict. I'm Patrick. I'm me. Um, how did this start? Tell me how the art of recovery started. Well, uh, I was using art all along in my recovery process from the very beginning. Um, and uh, as I got healthier, which took time, uh, people started to notice m the uh, art in my program. And, and my friends in recovery would say things to me like, I wish I had something like that. Because they had a lot of time on their hands. When addicts stop using, that frees up about 90% of their time. <laughs> so uh, I kept hearing this over and over. And it, it gradually started to dawn on me in my uh, uh, reflection and meditation that uh, maybe, you know, it would be something I could share with my friends. And then I started talking to you about that idea. Yeah. And, and it grew from there. I remember you coming in and you... You sat down in the art factory store and we we're just sitting there. It was quiet one afternoon and you shared this idea that you had. You were kind of at a, a point in your life, you're looking at the GPS of your soul and you're like, what am I going to do? And you shared this, this thought to me like, hey, you know, what was that thought that you shared with me? Uh, I think it was... Let's talk about how we can um, share this with people, this art thing, with people who are trying to save their lives from the demon of addiction. Short version of that conversation. It's it, a bit. <laughs> it was funny because today we're over and we're going through the Tim Hortons drive through. Yeah. And. We we're talking about kind of kindness or something and and I went over and I said hey what about you know and I was just talking garbage like I normally do uh, but you went over and said you know something about coffee yes well I noticed how generous you are and I commented on that because you are a very generous person and I asked you uh, mostly facetiously why are you so generous because I know the answer, but anyway, uh, it got me thinking about, you know, why am I generous and, and, and why do I give, give people and help people as much as I can, when, wherever I can. And um, it's because people help me uh, in so many little ways and I would not be alive today, let alone glad to be alive if they hadn't. Yeah. Know? And often it was as simple as... Well, there's living and being alive. Right. I was surviving for a long time, but I wasn't living. But you said... I said... This is the key one. It was kind of stuck in my head, and I yeah. want you to repeat it. So I said, you know, um, when you don't have money for a coffee, and you're really down on your luck, and you're feeling really hopeless, if somebody buys you a coffee out of kindness, that coffee can literally save your life, you know. You said it was such enthusiasm, though. You're like, <laughs> you said it. He's, he's, a coffee can, given with kindness can save your life. Can literally save a life. Yeah. So this is true. I just I think right now we really need. I think we're the world is kind of uh, going through its uh, a, a very intense process, and I think that individuals are kind of wrapped up in a certain kind of narrative but i think that just being kind to one another and even just going over just a random act of kindness of just buying someone a cup of coffee or helping shovel their driveway i think you don't know the ripple effects of that of how that can really warm your heart and make someone else have something else in the world well i can only speak from my own experience and that is that when i was hitting bottom there were people that did a lot of those little things for me and yeah. without that i would not be here today we wouldn't be having this conversation so yeah it's uh 
I, so tell us about the art of recovery. What is it? Um, what, what, how does it work? How do you get involved? Who's, oh, just tell us what it is. Sure. Well, it's a, it's a program or a group. I think of it more as a group, but uh, we get together every second Sunday here at the Art Factory in, in Renfrew, which the you first have, and, and the third week, the first and the third Sunday of each month, from one o'clock in the afternoon till four o'clock in the afternoon, we make art together. We have a little meeting, a little mini, mini meeting where we just check in with each other about how our recovery is going, how our life is going, you yeah. know, and we encourage each other in our recovery and we encourage each other in our art and it's completely non-judgmental, completely open to anybody yeah. who wants to show up, who's trying to live a different life than, than what they were living. We just want to be amongst like-minded people. I just think the community and just the, I think right now being and having a sense of creativity and community and being together and sharing and just making kind of human connections with other people is so, it, and, and you can see the natural light in here and it's a beautiful space and we have a wood stove and it's just like, there's another level of, uh, and there it is. There's my love. She's <laughs> calling me right now. Tanya. Never far away. Never. Always in my heart, my love. So I'm going to, we're going to end this and have a beautiful day. I've got to go uh, talk to Bubba. Okay. And be safe and be kind. And there'll be information in the description below with links. And um, take care of yourself and be kind. Come and see us. Yeah. Awesome.